Okay, um, hi everyone. All right, so someone just posted this program on one of the videos that um, I'm making on, I mean, one of, one of the videos that I made on the programming challenges in Java, and starting out with Java. So I realized that this is going to happen from time to time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another playlist and, and put these kinds of programs in there. So I figured people are going to come by with questions that are different from the from the book, and uh, I just I just wanted to create those two, you know, alongside creating the programming challenges and starting out with Java. So I'm going to start off with this one, and yeah, I'll just I'll just start start you know right with it. So I don't know if this question is in in a textbook or anything, but you know. Uh, we'll just do it as the program says. All right, so I'll go ahead and I'll create a class public. Oops. Well, well, before I do that, let's just go through the question. It wants us to. I think that the question wants wants to test, you know, the understanding, people's understanding of prefix and and postfix incrementers. So yeah, that, when I read the question, that's that's all I all, all I got from it because there's so there's so much. You know, increment and you know, you know, using prefix and using postfix in there. So we'll take the we'll take the question line by line and then we'll solve it. So I'll create the class and I'll call it postfix um, prefix, sort of, because I don't I don't know what to call it. And then I'll 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 create the, the main method. Okay, so the very first statement it says, write a Java program that initializes two integers, two integer variable, I guess two integer variables x and y, to zero. So that's very easy. I'm going to, you know, comment it out so we, it's clear. All right, so I just say initialize two um, two variables. Two integer variables. My typing is not the best again. So forgive me there. Um, to zero. So it's at x and y. So int x equals zero, and then int y equals zero. So we're done with that. All right. The next thing says print out the uh, print out the increment using prefix and postfix of x. Okay, just x. So it wants us to first increment x using prefix and postfix and then print it out. So I'm just going to print out the first one. I'll, I'll, I'll say system.out.print ln. And then I'll say prefix increment of x. And so first, this is the, the concatenation sign, right? right? But now I'm going to prefix it. The, only, the difference is just instead of x++, plus plus, which is the postfix, the prefix, the, the, the incremental product, is, it's, it's going to come before the x. So it's going to be plus plus x, right? And then I just put my, se my semicolon. So that's the prefix increment of x. The, the incremental operator x, uh, this plus plus, comes before the x. You can just um, put a comment and say, print out the prefix and postfix of x. All right, so that's the that's the prefix, and I just copy it and then and then and then print out the postfix oh. the postfix increment of x, and the only difference is. It's going to come after the x. All right, so we're done with that. Let me just compile it to see if we're on track. I'm going to save it in the folder where I'm keeping all the programs. I already cr cr created another um, folder, and I, I called it other, and I'm going to 
do that here. So I'm going to create another folder and I'll call it um, postfix prefix and I'll save them here. So it compiled well, no problems. All right, so we are here, right? So after you've done the prefix and postfix, we it wants us to reset the value of x to zero. So I'll go ahead and do that. X equals to zero. I just put a comment here to say reset x to zero. Let me just compile this and run it and to see where we are. All right, so so this is where we are so far. All right. So once we are done resetting the value of x to zero, it says using postfix increment the value of x and store its value in y. So increment the value of x and store its value in y. So increment x store in y. All right, so increment x using, it says using postfix, right? Where is it? Yeah, using postfix, increment the value of x, post, so postfix comes after x, and then store the value of x, where is it? And increment, increment the value of x and store its value in y. So we've already done the increment, now the next thing is to store the value in y here. And then I'll end it. All right, so the next one is print the postfix values of x and y. I'm guessing, I'm guessing this means just print out the values of x and y. So I'll go ahead and do print, print out x and y, values of x and y. And that's just a mat matter of system that I'll print x and y. Just the value of x. X. And then I'll print the value of y. Y. It's because that's what the program says. Which, you know, it says print out the where, where is it? Um, I get lost. Um, Increment the value of x and store its value in y. We've done that. And print out the postfix values of x and y. We, we already did the postfix here. You know, we've, we did, f we incremented the value of x here. We haven't done for y. So I don't know what the question is asking. I don't know if it wants us to increment y before we print it out. But since it didn't say we should in uh, increment it, it just said print out the postfix uh, values of x and y. So, um, I mean, who, um, the, the person who actually asked the, this question, if, if you find out that, you know, this line says increment y, then you know how to do it using postfix. All you have to do is y plus plus. But, f you know, just for the sake of how I understand this question so far, I'm just going to print out x and y. But if it says print out the postfix, value, postfix values of y, all you have to do is add plus plus here. But for now, I'm just going to print it out and continue the question. All right, now then using prefix, increment the value of x. So using prefix, increment, now this is prefix. Increment the value of x and store its value in y. So we've already done the prefix increment of x, now store its value in y. I, I'm sorry for, for typing you know, that way, but I want you to understand that that's why I'm doing it that way. I, I could have started with y is equals to plus plus x, but I, want to, I'm, I just want to follow the program you know, you know, line by line. So increment the value of x and store its value in y. Okay, we've done that. Let me just comment it out. And store in y. And the next thing is print the prefix values of x and y. So again, I don't know if it wants us to, you know, Increment using the prefix, using prefix, increment x using prefix and print it out, or it just wants us to just print out the value of x and y. So if you find out that this question says increment x before you, before printing it out, all you have to do is, because it said prefix, you put plus plus before x. So it's basically the same as this. 
I'm, right now all I'm doing is printing out the values of x and y. But if you if you find out that this question, this last statement here, is saying prefix, uh, sorry, increment using prefix and print, then all you have to do is put plus plus here and then, and then print it out. But just for the sake of, again, how I understand this question so far, I'm, I'm going to leave it this way. But you, you get the idea. The difference between prefix and postfix is one, is, one comes before, which is a prefix. The, the, the operator comes before right here. So this is prefix. The plus plus comes before the x, and this is postfix. The plus plus comes after the x. So as far as this question is concerned, it's, it's solved. But if you realize that there are uh, like other um, complexities in the in the question, you understand it, so you can make mo modifications. So I'll go ahead and run it, and it, it compiled you know com um, well, no problems. And I'm going to run um, run it, and this is the output so far. This is the output so far. All right, so you know, I hope you understand it. Again, if there are, if there are any if modifications to the questions. Um, or if th there are you know different interpretations to it, you know how to go, go about that. All right. So again, thank you very much for for watching. This was a video created for created for someone who posted on one of my videos, and I I told her that I told her that I was going to um, quit the video. All right. So thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions regarding this program, please post it down below, and I'll do my best to answer it. All right, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next program. All right, bye.